Friday, Friday, Friday reviews, Friday, Friday, Friday film reviews. Yes, that's right, it is Friday reviews, and today we are talking about Fast and Furious 7. Yay, I was very, very excited to see this movie. Um, I really like the Fast and Furious series, and so of course I was excited about this one, and um, I think, uh, if you don't know, which I'm sure everybody knows now, basically last year, was it last year? Yes, last year, Paul Walker passed away, which was really sad, and it was just this big horrible thing, and you know, he passed away, and he is obviously a big part of the Fast and Furious series, and they were filming Fast and Furious 7 during this time, and then obviously, you know, we all kind of thought what's going to happen, and all this stuff, so it, it sounds bad, and it, it's a bit of a weird one, it definitely heightened my interest to see it's not my excitement though I thought it was really really sad and an awful thing but it was very I was very interested to see how they were going to deal with that in this movie and I thought that's something that a lot of people talk about when talking about this movie and I kind of feel like it's a bit of a weird situation because it almost takes away from the movie a little bit it, I don't I don't really know so a very weird thing to happen I guess um when watching a movie trying to figure out like for example with me I mean I will talk about my thoughts on the movie in a minute um, but I just kind of want to address this first because I think everybody who has wanted to see this movie will have seen this movie already um because you know if you've liked the Fast and Furious franchise you know you've probably definitely seen this if you're really excited for it you will have seen it and if you've never watched Fast and Furious um, the series I would definitely recommend it um, I really 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 enjoy it and I wouldn't have looked at it and thought oh, that's something I would enjoy but I think it's fantastic the characters are great the storylines are great the bond they have is great and it's just it's just I really enjoy it um, but anyway back to what I was saying um, when I was watching this movie I didn't know how they were going to deal with that situation and I kind of felt like I spent you know I've only watched it one time now and I will be watching it again definitely I did really enjoy it I'll tell you that much um, I was kind of kept wondering, you know, what, what are they going to do, um, what's going to happen, and all this stuff, and it kind of was in the back of my mind always, um, for the first watch, and that kind of really distracted me from the movie, and I kind of feel, I kind of felt bad about it as well, because, you know, um, it's really sad that Paul Walker's passed away, and now, I don't know, it's just a weird thing, because the video, See You Again, which is a fantastic video, and, you know, I feel like they're making more money from a person's death, ah, it's a weird one, anyway, um, but I loved Paul Walker, I mean, who didn't love Paul Walker, and it was very interesting to see what they did, but I definitely think that they did to him justice, um, is that the right word, um, you know, in this movie, and I liked the way they went about it, I liked that they didn't do what I thought they were going to do, and I feel like they really, um, like, commemorated, is that the right word, I don't know why my words are at it, I feel like they really commemorated him well in this movie and I'm so glad that they did because you know he was such a, part, a big part of the series and he was such a, well I don't know, I didn't know him personally, I was just going to say he's such a great guy but I mean I don't know but he seemed like such a great guy and you know it's sad, um, so yeah that kind of, so basically I gave the movie four and a half stars um, and I, I'm, maybe, maybe I would have given it five but it, I enjoyed it, it was a good movie, but then again, it's a weird, it's a, you watch this movie with a different mindset than you normally would, is basically what I'm saying, which is a very weird way to watch a movie, and it's very sad to watch it, because you know that he has now passed away, and you know that some parts of the, uh, that he is in the movie are not actually him, uh, his brother played some parts with some kind of CGI going on, and so it's, it's a very weird movie to watch in that sense. Now, ignoring all that that happened, you know, around the movie and stuff like that, but just looking at the movie itself and for its story and for, you know, it being part of this franchise, how did I like it? I really, really enjoyed it. I thought some of the scenes were fantastic. I thought some of the action scenes were great. I thought some of it was very funny. I thought it was very sad. I thought it was very, it had all the emotions. It was lots of fun. And I really, really, really enjoyed this movie. And I tell you, I can't wait to watch it again. I definitely recommend Fast and Furious 7. It might even be me, my favourite one. But I don't know. I think that's just because... I don't know, it's just so much going on, and there was so much emotional, emotional, that's not a word, so much emotion at the end there, and it just, I don't know, I just loved it. Uh, I thought it was fantastic, and I think my favourites actually in the series are 5, 6, and 7. Um, but yeah, I really, really, really enjoyed this movie, and I really recommend it. Um, like I say, for a movie and enjoyment, it's so enjoyable to watch. It's so much fun. I love the bond between these. Uh, it's just so fantastic to see, and I just, oh, it's, it's brilliant. And Jason Statham's in this one, which was interesting. There were some really interesting scenes with him as well. And, 
yeah, so overall it was a great movie and it was action packed, it was funny, it was, you know, awesome cars, awesome scenes, looked beautiful on Blu-ray and the ending was just, I felt like it was a perfect ending to be honest. Uh, it was sad, but it was it was perfect, I thought. I really liked how they did that. Obviously I'm not going to tell you the ending because that would dark things, but I just, you know, if you've seen it um, and you want to know how I felt about that, I thought I thought they really did it well. Um, and yeah, so overall I really, really enjoyed this and I definitely watch it many times, I think. Um, so yeah, this is kind of going to be a quick review because I felt there's not too much to say because I felt like so much has already been said about this movie. Um, but I did kind of want to address the whole, you know, because I thought that's what I hear a lot of people saying about as well, is the Paul Walker situation. Um, but as well, I kind of wanted to look at it. The second time I watch this movie, I'm going to try and look at like to kind of take that away from my mind and watch it just in the movie as I would normally but I feel like it is a kind of different situation with this one because you are watching that in mind which is it's a weird way to watch a movie I think uh, I don't know if that makes sense to you guys um, but yeah overall really enjoyed this movie let me know down in the comments below if you enjoyed Fast and Furious 7 have you seen the series which is your favourite Fast and Furious movie I'd love to know please let me know which is your favourite Fast and Furious movie I think I might have another um, marathon of them all and then do a best to worst Fast and Furious video. If you guys want to see that, let me know down in the comments below. I've done best to worst with other things. And um, so I might do a best to worst of this series and, you know, my favourite film. Um, to my least favourite film out of the series. So yeah, until then guys, I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up if you enjoyed Friday reviews. And I will see you then. Goodbye!